Hello everyone. In the video, we are going to cover 5 best portable bike tire pumps in the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to help you out to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. For more info and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video make sure to check the links in the description below. Let's start. Number 1. Our best pick is Vibrelli Bike Floor Pump. This is an inexpensive bike tire pump for budget-conscious cyclists looking for a durable and reliable floor pump. This bike pump isn't fancy, but it gets the job done. This warranty is one of the longest periods we've seen come with an inexpensive pump like this. We've seen many cheap pumps fail, but if this one fails within 5 years, Vibrelli will replace it. The pump head works well for attaching to any kind of valve. It also has a ball pump needle to inflate a soccer ball, basketball, kickball, or any other type of ball with that black rubber valve. It also comes with another valve for inflatable devices such as exercise balls, pool toys, rafts, and more. This pump isn't as featured as other bike pumps, but offers great value. Thysai Bike Floor Pump isn't as featured as other bike pumps, but offers great value. The handle is a lightweight plastic, and though it has rubberized grips, it doesn't feel as secure in your hands as the wooden handles on the Lezine and Silka floor pumps. Also, the base of this pump is not as wide as most of the other pumps we tested. More than once, this pump tipped over when we walked away. Number 2. Our second best pick is Topeak Road Morph G Mini Pump. This is our winner for the best bike pump for road cyclists who want a hand pump. It looks like a short frame pump at first glance, but it transforms into something that looks more like a floor pump. It has an air hose, foldable foot lever, and flip-out handle. These features make it function as a floor pump, which makes the prospect of inflating a road tire to 100 psi on the side of the road a little less daunting. We inflated a 700 by 38 tire to 60 psi with 175 pumps with this pump not quite as few as the Lezing Micro Floor Drive HV, but close. Also, you can inflate tires to twice as much with Road Morph as with the Micro Floor Drive HV. We'd pick this pump for road bike rides, but it works for all bikes. The bracket doesn't fit under a water bottle cage, but does come with some zip ties to attach, as we did here. Compared to a hand pump, the Road Morph is much easier to inflate a tire in the field. The fact that you can use gravity and the ground to your advantage makes it easier to operate than other mini bicycle pumps. The pressure gauge is an excellent feature to take the guesswork out of inflating your tire, too. As a portable floor pump that works with high pressure tires, we find it convenient for inflating tires in the field. Number 3. Our third best pick is Lezine Pressure Drive Bicycle Tire Hand Pump. This is the best bike pump for riders who value weight and portability. The retractable hose unthreads from the handle's end, where it threads into when not in use, and onto the air chamber side. This design allows the hose to stow inside the pump with fewer moving parts than other mini pumps. Most hand pumps we've seen have a hose that slides into the pump, but this is another place to get clogged with dirt. The pressure drive avoids this potential point of failure with its hose storage solution. Like all lezing pumps, the air chuck creates an excellent seal by threading onto valves. A suitable hose is imperative for a mini bike pump, without one, you'll likely bend or break a Presta valve trying to inflate a tube fully. The pressure drive hose is simple, works well, and is one of the best we've seen on a hand pump. As a bonus, the hose also has an integrated valve core tool. One drawback to all mini pumps like this is how long it takes to inflate a tire fully. If this is an issue, you should carry a bigger pump. However, if you're looking for the best, most portable mini hand pump for your emergency flat tire kit, check out this one. And, of course, it's fully rebuildable. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Lezing Sport Floor Drive Pump. This floor drive could be the only bicycle floor pump you'll ever need to buy. While it's optimized for higher pressure tires, this pump works for all bike types. This pump is a standout in the durability category. Most floor pumps work great until they don't. If they aren't serviceable, it's time to get a new pump. 
This bike pump has a comfortable wooden handle, an oversized pressure gauge that's easy to read, and an extra long hose to inflate a bike in a repair stack or hitch rack. It also has a thread on air chuck with an integrated Presta valve core removal tool. Lead tester Sam Schild has worked as a bike mechanic for over 10 years. In that time, he's seen a lot of bike pumps fail. Usually, what stops working first is the rubber gasket or O ring in the pump head. Other common points of failure on floor pumps are the plunger seal in the air chamber, the hose, and the pressure gauge. Since it threads onto the valve, it puts less stress on the O ring used to create a tight seal. This design allows the pump head to seal tightly on the valve for longer. Plus, if it does start to leak, you can probably find a fresh O ring to fit in the air chuck at your local bike shop or hardware store. If you're not stoked about threading the air chuck on the valve every time, this bike pump also comes with a speed chuck slide on adapter, though it only works with Presta valves. Number 5. Our fifth best pick is Silka Super Pista Digital Floor Pump. This pump is the arguably the best bike pump we tested. Everything about this pump screams premium from the digital gauge to the stainless steel pump head that grabs onto the shortest valves to the leather gasket and roller bearings in the pump barrel. The only drawback of this pump is the price, which is astonishingly high. However, the pump has a wider base, and the pump action on the Silka feels even smoother. The pump head is stainless steel with a slick locking lever that rotates in a way you can install and lock it with one hand. It will grab onto any Presta valve, including those barely sticking out of the rim. Overall, we're not convinced a digital gauge is an improvement over an analog one. But, this digital gauge is helpful for those who are ultra-specific with their tire pressure since it's accurate to 1%. Just make sure you have some spare batteries on hand. The handle is black stained wood and has a leather strap that holds it in place for transporting the pump. There is a magnetic pump head holder and a super stable wide base with another magnet. Make sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback.